Hello, my name is Sadie. I'm originally from the UK, but I'm studying for a PhD in social anthropology in Bergen in Norway. Uh, since arriving, I've been really impressed with the professionalism of Terrasun. The whole team knows so much about the wildlife and they really take their roles seriously as both biologists and skippers and vigiers, but also educators to the public. And I'm really impressed with how they go about their daily tasks. They have so many things to remember. They have a briefing to give, which is very informative to the public and they also have to remember safety and regulations regarding the whale watching as well. Staying away from the whales if they look a bit stressed, um, making sure that they don't linger too long with the animals. Um, it's, it's a really good uh, way that it's run and I'm very happy to be part of the team, briefly. My favourite moment of any tour is when we're exiting the marina and the speed goes up on the Zodiac. So the boat suddenly goes into high speed and we shoot out into the waves, into the swell, to look for the animals. And that's a really exciting moment when people are often smiling on the boat because we're going very fast and it's just a real joy to be out at sea. And given that the sea conditions can be tricky and so much effort goes into making a tour work, it feels like a real moment of achievement when we reach that point where we're actually going to sea and it's actually happening. Something else I really enjoy is the part of the briefing where the public learn about the role of the vigiers, the lookouts. These are people on the Terra Azul team who are stationed along the cliffs of the south of São Miguel Island and they use uh, lookout points that were previously used by whalers to spot sperm whales and the vigiers of today are using very powerful binoculars to spot spray or shadows or groups of birds on the surface of the sea that could indicate cetacean activity. And then they speak to the skipper via radio and they try to direct the skipper where to go. And this is a really exciting part of the tour because you see in real time how difficult a job this is. I mean, they have to really focus through these binoculars and they're scanning the horizon constantly looking for animals for us. I saw a blue whale for the very first time here in the Azores and it was a really incredible experience. I just saw the head and the spray and the back of the whale with the little dorsal fin, but particularly when the whale dives, you can really see just how huge this animal is. I mean, it takes so long for its back to curve over. And then once the whale is gone, it leaves this footprint on the surface of the water where you really get an impression of just how enormous it is. The biggest one ever was 33 meters. So, yeah, that was very special.